How's it going dudes? Asian dude here back with Doki Doki Literature Club. Last time we left off, we just finished reading Monica's poem, which was very disconcerting. But anyways, let's continue. Okay everyone. We're all done reading each other's poems, right? I have something extra planned today, so if everyone would come sit at the f at the front of the room. Is this about the festival? Well, sort of. Uh, do we really have to do something for the festival? It's not like we can put together anything good in just a few days. We'll just end up embarrassing ourselves instead of getting any new members. That's a concern of mine as well. I don't really do well with last minute preparation. Don't worry so much. We're going to keep it simple, okay? Hmm. Ah, my voice there. We wouldn't, we wouldn't need much more than a few decorations. Sayori has been working on posters and I've designed some pamphlets we can give out during the event. Okay, that's great and all, but that doesn't tell us what we're actually going to be doing for the event. Ah, sorry. I thought you heard about it already. We're go going to be performing. Performing? But, <laughs> um, Monica? Yeah, we're going to be having a poetry performance. Each of us is, are going to choose a poem to recite during the, ent during the event. But the cool part is, we're going we're also going to let everyone else come up and recite poems too. Theory's putting it all putting it on all the posters in case anyone wants to prepare ahead of time. Hehe. <laughs> Theory's who's been coloring a poster holds it up for us to see. Are you kidding me, Monica? You don't- You don't already start- You didn't already start putting those posters up, did you? Uh, well, I did. Do you really think it's that bad of an idea? Well, no. It's not a bad idea. But I did sign up for this, you know. There's no way I'm going to be performing in front of a group of people like that. I I agree with Natsuki. I could never in my life do something like that. Imagine it. Imagining it, Yuri shakes her head in fear. Guys. No, Sayori. I understand where they're coming from. Remember, Natsuki and Yuri have never shared their poems with anyone until just a couple days ago. It's a lot to ask for them to recite their poems out loud to a whole room full of people. I guess I kind of overlooked that. So, I'm sorry. But, I still think we should give it our best. We're the, we're the only ones responsible for the fate of this club. We start the event and each put on a good performance. Then it will inspire others to do the same. And the more people who perform, the better we'll be able to 
show everyone what literature is about. Yeah! It's about expressing your feelings. Being intimate with yourself. Finding new horizons. And having fun! That's right. And it's those reasons that we're all in this club to get today. Don't you want to share that with others? I my character's being really quiet during all this. To inspire them to to inspire them to find the same feelings that brought you here in the first place. I know I do. I mean you do. I know we all do. And if and if all it takes is standing in front of the room for two minutes and reciting a poem, then I know I, you can do it. They're both just silent. Natsuki and Yuri remain silent. Like I said, she already looked weird. I guess that leaves me no choice. I agree. I don't think it's too much to ask. I think that Sayori and Monica have been trying really hard to get new members. The least we can do is help them out a little bit. Well, maybe, but... It looks like Natsuki doesn't have any argument left. Uh, okay, fine. I guess I'll... Just have to get over it. Get it over with. All right. Phew. Thanks, Natsuki. What about you, Yuri? Yuri dejected, league glance around at everyone else's expectant, uh, expectant faces. Hmm. I guess I don't really have a choice. Ha! <laughs> That's everyone. You're the best, Yuri. This club is seriously going to be the death of me. Oh gosh. You'll be fine, Yuri. But anyway, let's move on to the main event. I want each of you to choose a poem of yours. We're going to practice reciting them in front of each other. No way! Monica! This is so too sudden! Well, if you recite... Well, if you can't recite your poem in front of the club, how do you expect to do it in front of strangers? Oh no. Don't worry. I'll start off to help everyone feel a little bit... a little more comfortable. Can I go and hit? Aha, of course. Now, let's see. Monica flips to her notebook to, to the specific poem she has in mind of her, for herself. She then stands behind the podo podium. The title of the poem is The Way They Fly. Ahem. Monica begins reciting her poem. Her clear, confident voice fills the room. More than that, her inflection is pristine. She knows exactly how to apply emotion behind each line she recites, bringing the words to life. Is this something she's done before? Or is she simply a natural? I glanced around me. Everyone had their eyes on Monica. Sayori looks amazed. Yuri has an intense expression on her face that I don't understand. Finally, Monica finishes the recitation. The four of us applaud. Monica takes a breath, a breath, and smiles. Th that was so good, Monica. 
Thank you. Thank you very much. I was just hoping to set a good example. Are you are you ready to go next, Yuri? I'll go next. What? Yuri's fired up all of a sudden. Yuri clenches a sheet of paper between her hands and stands up. Clean, keeping her head down, she walks quietly over to the podium. This poem is called Yuri anxiously glances at each of us. You can do it, Yuri. It, it's called After Image of a Crimson Eye. Yuri's voice shakes as she starts reading the poem. Just a moment ago, she practiced, practically refused to do this. Why is she suddenly put in so much effort? As Yuri gets past the first couple of lines, her voice changes. It's almost like what happens when Yuri gets absorbed into her books. Her quivering words transform into the sharp syllables of a fierce and confident woman. The poem is full of twists and turns in its structure that she that she enunciates with perfect timing. This must be a rare glimpse into the whirling fire Yuri keeps sealed inside her head. Suddenly she finishes. Finished. <laughs> Everyone is stunned. Yuri. Oh. I hope you guys were able to read that. If not, you guys can go back and pause it. I. It's up to me to save this situation. I'm the first to start applauding. Everyone joins me afterwards. And we give Yuri the recognition she deserves. It's not that we didn't want to applaud for her, but we were caught so off guard that we must have forgotten. As we applaud, Yuri holds the poem to her chest and rushes back to her seat. Yuri, that was really good. Thank you for sharing. Looks like Yuri is down for the count. Okay. I guess I'm next then. Sayori so hops out of her chair and cheerfully walks to the podium. This one's, this one's called My Meadow. Uh. <laughs> sorry, I giggled. Sayori. It's a lot harder than, than I thought. How did you guys do it so easily? Uh, try not to think of it like you're reciting to other people. Imagine you're reciting it to yourself, like in front of a mirror or in your own head. It's your poem, so it'll come out the best, the best way. Blah blah. I feel like I'm public speaking now. I see, I see. Okay then. Sayori, be Sayori begins her poem. Somehow it feels like her soft voice was made as a perfect match. The poem isn't aimlessly ch cheery like Sayori is. It's serene and bittersweet. If I were to read this on paper, I probably wouldn't think much of it. But hearing it come from Siori's voice almost gives it a whole new meaning. Maybe this is what Siori meant when she said she liked my poem. Hmm. Are we ever going to hear the poems? Or read them? It's like I get to... 
roots more deeply into someone I dot knew I knew through and through. Sayori finishes and we applaud. I did it! Good job, Sayori. He even read liked it. I guess that's a good sign. What does that even mean? It came out nicely, Sayori. The atmosphere of the poem fits you really nicely. But it might be that other poems won't work quite as well with that kind of delivery. Uh, I don't really understand. In other words, I've seen poems of yours where that sort of gentle delivery wouldn't work as well. They might need a little more force behind them, depending on what you're reading. Oh, I know what you mean. That's, well, I've been practicing that kind of thing. It's just embarrassing to do it in front of everyone. <laughs> Next time, I'm not going to make going to make you pick a poem that challenges you a little more. We don't have much time before the festival, you know. Okay. Now who's next? Natsuki? Hmm. Don't make me go before Reed. Oh, sorry. Might as well let Reed lower everyone's standards a little before I have to do it. Natsuki! It's fine, it's fine. I might as well get it over with. But it's not like I have much of a selection of what to read. I'll just have to go with what I wrote for today. I stand up and step in front of the podium. Everyone has their eyes on me, making me feel terribly awkward. I recite my poem. Since I'm not exactly confident in my own writing, it's a l it's hard to put it energy into it. Despite that, once I finish, I receive a plot. Pause. Anyway. Sorry I'm not really as good as everyone else. Don't worry about it so much. I think it's less your less about your abilities and more and more about your lack of confidence in your poetry. In your writing. That's something that'll improve over time, though. Yeah, maybe. Alright then. That's just. That just leaves you, Natsuki. Yeah, yeah. I'm going. Natsu Natsuki begrudgingly gets out of her seat and makes her way to the podium. The poem is called. It's called. Why are you looking at me? Why are you all looking at me? Because you're presenting. <laughs> hmm. Anyway, the poem is called Jump. Didn't we read that one? Natsuki takes a breath. When she starts reciting the poem, her sour attitude disappears a little. While she while she's still a little unenthusi uh I apparently can't pronounce that word. Her poem has a rhyme and a has a rhythm and a rhyme to it. It's Natsuki's trademark style and it works surprisingly well when spoken aloud. The word the words feel like they bounce up and down as if giving life to the poem. Natsuki finishes and everyone applauds. 
she huffs back to her seat. That wasn't so bad, was it? Easy for you to say. You're, you'd better not make me do it. Do that again. Ah well. Do you at least feel prepared enough to recite a poem in front of other people? I mean, do it in front of other people will be way easier. I can put. I can put on whatever face I want for other people, but then it's just my friend. It's just embarrassing. That's a surprise, Natsuki. I think it would. I, I think it would be the other way around for me. Well, that's just how it is. So, well, I guess in that case. You won't have to have much to worry about for the festival. That said, I want to thank everyone for coming through. I, it might be hard, but I hope that you all have an idea of what it's like now. Make sure you pick a poem and get enough practice for the festival, okay? I'll be making pamphlets, so let me know ahead of time that you'll be reciting. Jeez. I should probably find some other poem to recite instead. That's fine too. It doesn't have to be your own. I'm already pleasantly surprised that you're putting in all this effort for the club. It makes me really happy. Uh, yeah, no problem. Okay, everyone. I think that's about it for today. I know the festival is coming up, but let's try not... But let's try to write poems for Samara as well. It's been working out really nicely so far, so I'd like to continue that. As for the festival, we'll finish planning tomorrow, and then we'll have the weekend to prepare. Monday's the big day. I can't wait. I can do this. I can do this. Alright. I stand up. There's no way I'll be able to find the same enthusiasm as Sayori and Monica, but I'll do my best to get through it. If it's for the sake of the club, and impressing Monica, then I have to do my best. Ready to go, Sayori? Yep! Look at you two always going home together like that. It's kind of adorable, isn't it? <laughs> Jeez, guys. Don't make such a big deal out of it. It must be a little nice, though. Well, uh... What am I supposed to respond to that? I think I said that last line wrong. It's okay, Ruby. You don't have to say it. Whatever, let's go already. I think we will... I think I will finish... Continue this in the next video. If you dudes enjoyed, hit that like button. And don't forget to hit that bell icon to stay up to date on when I upload. And if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. And I'll see you dudes in the next video.